<laughs> you okay? Yeah. Did you hit your knee? <laughs> it was my foot. We're good. Hey, everybody. It's Joni B. And Jenny B. And Peggy T. Woohoo! <laughs> and we're here at No Regrets Cookies. You guys watched us do some Thanksgiving or fall ones, I guess, the mm -hmm. Halloween ones. And now we're getting to do Christmas. So Peggy's in charge. She's going to give us directions to for me and Jenny to attempt to make some professional looking cookies. But, and you can order these kits. She ships them. And as we're going, she'll give details. And let's get started. All right, we have a do-it-yourself Christmas cookie kit. We have six cookies. We have a Christmas tree, snowman, and a candy cane. All will be fun to decorate. All of them are individually sealed and wrapped. We're gonna go ahead and unwrap them as we go. And set our package to the side. If you want to reuse that, it has a sealable strip on it so you can repackage your cookies once they're dry. <gasps> and, uh-oh. Oh, that's a okay. great job. We already have a, that's oh, a, that's okay. A little icing will take care of a broken cookie. <laughs> we have some Christmas sprinkles and four bags of icing with the traditional Christmas colors, red, white, green, and a little black because we have a snowman's hat. Oh. Anybody knows Frosty's hat was black. That's right. Not that it couldn't be another color if you like, but we will keep it traditional. You have a piece of parchment paper that you can work right off of. If you have other paper like we do that you prefer, you can leave it in your box and store your cookies on it later. So tell mm -hmm. us about the icing. I know you're going to show how to get it all ready, but how do they store it? So if they get this at home, how do they if, store it? If you receive this package as a gift or if you come in here and purchase it, do not refrigerate it. If you refrigerate royal icing, which is what this is, it will get hard and gunky and be no fun to work with and totally ruin it. So do not refrigerate it, leave it at room temperature. When you get it, sometimes after it sets 24 hours, you will have settlement on your bag. You just have to roll it, mm -hmm. kind of play with it. The bags are pretty sturdy and um, it'll be nice and mixed in for you so that when you do use it, it's consistent. We make our own sugar cookie recipe. It is a family recipe. So it's not one that you will find any place else. It does have um, a unique ingredient in it that gives it a really nice high quality flavor. I want to do the snowman first because I just snowman. love snowman. Snowman. All right, let's get you a snowman the now. one to do first. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna do a snowman. <clears throat> we have to have white. So I'm gonna roll my white just a little bit. I don't have to do it much because I know it was just made not too long ago. And it's a little snip. A very little snip. Less is more. Make sure you get that little piece of plastic off to the side. Doesn't end up in your cookie. All right, so we, on our snowman, you will notice that there is a hat. So we're gonna do everything below that hat white. Okay. Unless you wanna get funky. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, you wanna get funky? I don't wanna get funky. <laughs> <laughs> so once you outline that, go ahead and just pick your spot and start filling it in with the white. Try to hold your tube at a very slight angle. You can hold it straight up and down if you like, just so that you get a nice even flow. and follow your outline. So once you have this portion done, you can set it to the side, let it dry a little bit, get a little bit of a crust over the icing, and then we'll put a black hat onto this and make him look more like Frosty. We may even add a scarf. Ooh, Ooh fancy. I also found my little secret stash of a snowman kit oh, that has some carrots. Mm. some coal, black coal and bread for whatever you may want so we will share those pretty soon would you like to do your other snowman or do you just want to do the one up to you ladies maybe i'll do better on that one <laughs> good job thank you making you nervous now i'm watching you maybe <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to let them dry, and once they dry a little more, we're not going to be totally dry, we will add the hat and some 
maybe some coal down the center. Let's do the candy cane. Okay, candy okay. cane. And let's get our sprinkles out. Ooh. I like sprinkles. Sprinkles are fun. And I think the first one, because we want to make it a candy cane stripe, we add some spots on here that we want to be a certain color. We dunk those spots as we go. And then the remaining spots, we can make white or red, whichever color you choose. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> so you can pick if you want to use your white, if you want to use red, whatever color you want to use for your candy cane. Okay. I'm going to use white okay. for my every other color. Okay. So I'm going to start with one area and I'm just going to identify that area and color it in as I go. And then I'm going to skip a spot and I'm going to identify that area. They don't have to be perfect. And if you want to go ahead and take those little spots that you've already done and just dip them in the sprinkles, you don't have to worry about that icing running around or doing anything on you or even sticking your finger in it much. So you, you, you did the dunk dunk? Yep, I dunk dunked. Okay. Dunk away. See? You can do the whole cookie and then dunk it if you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Make some more spots. It's gonna be my stripes on my candy cane. Um, okay. <laughs> Kinda gonna do a slight slant on it as I go down because most time it's not a complete circle it goes up so we're going to continue that theme as we go down it so there is part of our candy cane now since we added the sprinkles we can add the secondary color right on top of it and it doesn't affect anything but make sure that you just cut off a small tip And that tip gets put off to the side so you don't eat it later. <laughs> not that that's ever happened, but of course not. <laughs> but I could foresee it happening. So now I'm going to take my red. I'm going to kind of fill in those spots that were right next to the sprinkle area. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Does it matter which way you start? You nope. start from the bottom of the top? Okay. This could be a fun holiday date activity, couldn't it? It is. I would like to, and I don't know in Illinois with the pandemic this year if we're going to be able to, but I would like to do a gingerbread or cookie decorating classes with some couples. Um, but we just have not been able to do that because we can't have those size mm -hmm. of groups. But they can order it and do it at they home. They can order it and do it at home. We have... Um, Several ladies that will do. There's my candy cane. Oh, yours looks good. Yours looks good. Look at the end. Oh, that's beautiful. We have several ladies that are do a ladies night, um, and they will get some cookie kits, and four or five of them will be at home, and they will do it and have some wine or what have you. And a lot of them like to do it with their families as a family function. On a Friday night, since we haven't had the Friday night football games and so forth, it makes a, a nice family function to do. And then they have a built-in treat afterwards. So yeah, I can see after a couple glasses of wine, this would be a really <laughs> fun activity. <laughs> or cocoa. Or cocoa. <laughs> we have a secondary candy cane. You can do any number of things with this. We could get fancy and do some swirls on it whatever your heart is feeling. I'm gonna do a traditional style. However, I encourage you to do what you wanna do. So if you wanna borrow my scribe, you certainly can. Okay. And you're probably thinking, if you make it all white, how are you gonna get your red stripes? Well, I'll show you that. You can try to do every other segment like that. It takes a while. Or, you can outline it in white and color it in. I see that. <laughs> so once this is decorated, because it's wet, whatever color I add on to it, it's gonna kinda just soak right into it. I don't mind that with the red on a candy cane. I think it looks kinda pretty. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a single line for the red. I'm going to space those out. And that will just bleed into the white. Now make sure you use a slight angle so you get that candy cane look. You could have also done this candy cane and made a dots, polka dot one. That would have been cute. I'm gonna let the girls catch up a little bit. If you want to order a kit, you can find them on our website at www.noregretcookies.com. Um, you can find them on Etsy. You can find them on our Facebook. They're all over the place. <laughs> Most of the time they're labeled under do-it-yourself kits, DIY. For Christmas, we will have several DIY. Ooh, I like the red on that, or the white on your red. Thank That's you. cute. I bet that one tastes like cinnamon. Probably going to taste like ice. Nathan icing. has some cinnamon You think it's going to taste like, he did could, you say icing? Yeah. He could hook you up. <laughs> I'm using Sprink my a imagination. a little cinnamon on there. <laughs> I'm using my imagination. Now we have a broken tree over here. Okay. I'll trade you. And I will take your broken tree okay. and fix it for you. All right. So I don't mind working with a broken cookie. Okay. I'm going to take my green. Now your Christmas tree does not have to be green. I have made some beautiful Christmas tree cookies in white and pink. And golly, the Festival of Trees for Pathway last year had all kinds of different colored trees. And I think we matched them on the cookies. We're going to oh, cut really? a small tip, and since the cookie is broken, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to add in my main color that I'm going to ice in that cookie with, and I'm going to fill this in, and I'm going to act like it's glue. And I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. And Look we're going to take to the other one, and that will be one whole cookie when you're done. So if you ever get a cookie and you turn it over and you see that type of thing, mm -hmm. ah, your cookie's been icing glued. <laughs> <laughs> now you can color your whole tree green or you can leave the bottom and we can make it a black or a brown, whatever color you want. Um, I'm going to leave a bottom on one and the other one I will color in. Well this year we are doing not just the cookie kits. But we are doing a giant Christmas tree. It's a really big cookie. So it's about like this high, this wide, and the ornaments that go on it. Oh! And that will be a lot of fun. So this is just your basic fill-in on your Christmas tree. Oh, look how quick you were. Good job. I'm sticking my fingers all in it though. See how much faster you have gotten since you've been practicing? Look at there. So we're going to let that dry just a little. If you wanted to decorate it with your sprinkles, you could go ahead and do that. So most bulbs and lights on the tree will do it like a zigzag. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. You can draw a line like that, or you can just remember how it goes and put your ornaments accordingly, or your lights, ever how you want to treat them. But I'm just gonna stagger my balls on here. I did a little drag on mine. That's okay. <laughs> so look at Jennifer over there just being going to town. Would you like to use the I'm gonna tweezers? I'm gonna be creative. I'm just gonna huh? I'll take my tweezers back. <laughs> oh look at her. Yeah, she's a show off. <laughs> you got very quiet. <laughs> 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 It got to be serious business. And I'm going to stop on my head. <laughs> now the good thing about a Christmas tree is you can never over de decorate a Christmas tree. Now to make a star, let's see what color should we make the star out of? We can make it out of red. I can show you in the red. You can do it on parchment paper. You can just do like you would normally make a star, a triangle, then take it up and over and over and then color it in. And if you let that set overnight, you can pick that off. It'll be solid and you can use it for a star on your cookies. Oh my goodness. So that's because of our special recipe for royal icing. That, that's, <laughs> that's fancy. Isn't that neat? Now we do have a secondary tree 
and you see now that has dried I can move this around oh, and it's wow. not falling off so it'll even get harder as time goes on now you can do several things with your tree you can do another green tree if you like you can do a white tree whatever fancies you now you would think with having that green on underneath that I would be limited to just doing green but because the type of royal icing that we mix and the colorings that we use, mm -hmm. I can actually cover that up with my white. Hmm. And it may have a slight shadowing, but once Ooh. it dries, that shadowing will not be there. So I'm going to outline this in white. And I'm going to outline the trunk as well and go all the way around the tree. By putting these on when it's still wet, that will let them adhere to it. I'm going to move one over. Oh, look at you get fancy! Did you see hers? Uh oh. Oh, you're getting fancy too over there. You have a little. I want to do that little. And how do I do that? I just. Do you want it to go up or down? I just, you know, I just want it to be like beautiful, oh, like do that. like tie dye. Just oh. you can do it in circles. You can do up and down. Like up yeah. like that. Sure. We want to go to opposite of your icing. So like in this particular case, your icing's going that way. I would kind of go like that to make it cool. That way. Sure. All the way across. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. You gotta touch it. <laughs> And I'm scared to touch it. <laughs> there you go. See? And then I do a little. Yeah, you can thing. use your towel. Mom's getting pretty good there. Yes, she, she is. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Very nice. Yay. Let it dry. Well, now we get to finish frosty. Oh, okay. I didn't see your tree. I love that. Looks that. Good too. that does look really cute. It looks like a scarf almost. A little fancy, I love it. Schmancy. It is. All right, All right. Here comes Frosty, Frosty the, the snowman. snowman. I'm gonna share some noses in case you want them. Okay. And you just stick some it. Some noses. And you just stick it on? Yep, if you want that kind of nose. There are several different oh. ways you can do a nose. These are carrots. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be honest with you, these actually came out of an Easter, Easter. set. Oh, for a bunny, yeah. <laughs> but we kept them. So just stick him on there if your fingers work like that. Okay. You can stick him straight out or you can stick him sideways, whichever you want. Then he had two eyes made out of coal. So we have black or I have some black little spots up here that you're welcome to use. So I'm going to make two eyes. There you go. Now, I don't make the pie because I don't want to encourage any smoking. <laughs> there you go. So I will just leave his nose, but if you want a little smile on him, you have some red here. You can add a little smile on. I'm going to make two dots for <coughs> cheekers. Could have been up a little higher, but they're still there. So those are his little rosy cheeks. I'm going to add some buttons down here lumps of coal. They can be a little larger. Make sure they're larger than his eyes. And then I'm going to take my black and I'm going to make him a hat. So I'm going to go right along that white line where we started the snowman. I'm going to follow the top. And I'm going to make like an oblong. Mine looks like a Russian soldier. A scarf is just a necklace around the snowman that's a little thicker. And then a upside down V. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the balls on it's it. It's got a little flake in there. You got a little dance. Oh yeah, I got that a little happens. windy. That we have another one to okay. do. We got another chance to not. Got another chance. Okay. Now what would you like to do with this one? There's so many different options here. Do you want a different colored hat? Do you want... Well, yours needs to look non-Russian. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> I'm going to go for a normal looking snowman this time. Normal's overrated. <laughs> I'm going to use another another nose for sure. Uh, Stick oh, a nose on here. 
How about a Mrs. Snowman? Oh. Let's see if I can get a Mrs. going here. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Let me think about it. So I'm going to take the black because it's so thin. I'll make sure it's nice and white. I'm just going to do a instead of a circle. I'm going to do a line for an eye. And on that line, I'm just going to draw a couple of eyelashes going up. So she's got eyelashes. I'm going to give her some. She's pretty. Now, the one thing to keep in mind when you're working with royal icing, especially the icing that you get from us, that when it may look really light, like this is kind of a, a lighter red, it's going to dry darker. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. So it will look significantly darker a little later. And I'm going to make her some a stripe up here. So it's not always about the best design or the fanciest look that you can create. Sometimes it's just adding simple little touches like eyelashes and making a hat a little different that makes your snowman unique. She still needs some buttons of coal. So we're going to make hers not quite as big as her gentleman friend. And a little more round. And then I'm going to take the white and make some polka dots on that scarf while it's That's still wet. Did. did you polka dot your stuff? I you did. <laughs> it's funny, I did the same thing, but Hey, we are all thinking <laughs> alike. Oh, she's got lipstick on. I love Fancy. it. She's ready I love to party. She is on her game. And now I'm going to make her a little heart down here to match her gentleman. So, if you like this kit, you know where you can get it at. We also have um, a couple other do-it-yourself Christmas kits along with the giant Christmas tree and gingerbread man, We were or gingerbread house we were talking about. So there'll be lots of options. And we can't wait to start decorating Christmas cookies. And she and they can order them and because they can be shipped. Yep, we ship all over the United States, including Hawaii. Ooh. Fun. And we do a lot of military. We can <gasps> ship military as well. Oh really? Yes. So And they arrive pretty in pretty good shape. You would think going that distance, but um, they're gonna be damaged, but they really arrive nicely. Well, thank you, you so thank much. You. Oh no, this thank was so you. Much fun. This was so nice. Awesome. Any other tips that can people order non kits from you to be sent? Yep, we have decorated, pre decorated cookies, all kinds of different options on that. We have about 10 different choices. Those will be placed on our website in the next day or two. Okay. Um, we're trying to get past some of the Thanksgiving because we do a lot of Thanksgiving cookies, but. Our Christmas cookies, we like to get pre-orders on because we book up so quickly with the decorated. We have Jumbo Gourmet cookies. They're the great big cookies. Mm -hmm. um, one cookie equals about four regular cookies. We have almost 40 flavors of those. Oh, wow. We make those in Jumbo or in standard size too. And they Just can, so many options. They it's, see those on your website. Yep. We have everything on our website. And if you don't see something you're wanting, um, simply send me a picture and I'll see what I can do. I don't copy designs. I don't profess to be as good as some of them. <laughs> but I promise you, you'll probably like them. Oh, we do a pretty good job with no. it. So, uh oh. Awesome. We're good. Did you put a finger in it? I did. It's okay. We already got a picture oh, of it. You did really good. Yay. We are all family operated, so we spend a lot of time up here together. And That's Nathan's right. willing. He usually does most of the baking. He's willing to make about anything. So we're up. Even if you have a, a cookie you're wanting and haven't had for years, we're up to try it. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, just give us some notice. <laughs> <laughs> what, so with notice, how long should somebody give you, like for a special well, order kind as, of thing? Like Thanksgiving, we're getting ready to cut Thanksgiving off in a couple of days. Uh, we won't be doing any more decorated cookies for Thanksgiving. We'll still do the do-it-yourself kits and the jumbo gourmets, but as far as the decorating, the pumpkins and the turkeys and all that, we're full. Okay. We won't be able to take any more orders, so we need to get those in. Christmas will be about the same way. About a week before Christmas, we won't be able to take any more orders okay. because they're just too full. Last year, I stayed several nights overnight 
to catch up on orders. Oh and, my gosh. Uh, literally. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Lessons learned. <laughs> <laughs> We know now about how fast we can do orders and still have them look really nice and give the quality that we want. So we know when we need to cut off and uh, not afraid to tell people sorry. Well, that's you know, right. Just got to plan. That's it. You have to have quality. Yeah. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You guys order. Um, the link will be there. If you have any questions that you don't even live here in the area, you can call them, you can yep. message them, and they will... Um, be here yep, to help we're you. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Shopify, Etsy.